So tell me about your earliest memories here in the bike shop. Oh, I started back here when I was about 12 years old. Uh, my father taught me how to make pipes and repair pipes and been working here ever since. And when I retired, I, I became partners with him and after he passed away at 106 months old, I kind of took over and was 95 years in business trying to make 100. Isn't that something? Yes, now, so you started here, but you chose law enforcement. Yes, sir. Moonlighted here. Yep. What's the story about law enforcement? Oh, I, I, that's that's a long story. I, I, I didn't like the way I was treated by a police officer when I was a kid, so I decided I was going to become one and try to be a better one. I worked with you, and I can tell you, you were a, you were a great person, a great mentor. You were an awesome cop. Thank you. You weren't brutal. Oh, you, I, that's, that's one of the reasons I, I think I really got into it. I didn't like what I see, how they handled things, and I thought it should be a, a lot better way of doing things. And you, so that's one reason I, I really wanted to get into it, and I... I got into it and I really just loved it. I, I really. We dealt with a lot of prisoners. You had what I'd call command respect. You, you didn't have to get aggr You could get aggressive, but you got people to. Uh... Well, you, you, you try to use common sense to make people do things they should do, and it, it's a lot easier than fighting with them. That's and right. And that's what I figured uh, we're supposed to do. We're supposed to serve the people, not not. Beat them up. You were a servant. There's no question about that. I'm going to come back here.